Hey, this is Blind Fox, and welcome at my Russian review. Please support the channel, please subscribe, and please go and donate on Patreon.com. This is our rather unusual lunch portion for the Russian Tech Early 2024, the Gourmet Menu Number 4. And it's a vegetarian option, so we've got Tropical Muesli. This is the same that we had in the other rations, this didn't change. We've got fruit cubes. What kind of fruit cubes? We don't know. We haven't opened it yet and they don't say. We've got some mango. This makes a cup so you don't have to uh, use a whole half a liter. And we're going to do the fruity oaties. This is going to be a rather large lunch because we will include your afternoon tea or your morning snack with this. I'm just not going to do the tea and the coffee because you will see my lighting is a bit weird. We've got a thing here called load shedding. It's not that it's night time, but when I'm filming it's not very light. So we've got a thing called load shedding, also known in the rest of the world as rolling power cuts. And to give you some atmosphere, and I, it's not that we don't have a gas uh, plates around or gas stove anyway. It's just I don't like using the thing if I don't really have to. We've got some super seas. There is an orange one there, you can see. This time they put it in a nice little bag. So at least until you open it, it's all nice and together. And I think there might be eight of these. Let's see. One, two. Three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. Yep. And although you can't close that specific bag, again, you've got these little small bags you can pop your stuff in. I do like that the Super C's is in a separate bag because otherwise they will get lost in the other rest of the stuff. I hope, I wish that they would uh, put the uh, cums in the little bag as well because they still get lost. Not going to do the gums because I'm going to eat all of this. We do no super seas. So all we need actually to prepare is the muesli. So you add some water here, can be hot or cold. You add a cup of water here, preferably cold, and the rest you just eat. So I'll go and prepare them, and I'll see you then. All right, here we go. So let's try our muesli. It's been standing a bit. And of course I added too much water, then I had to drink some of it since, well, I hate soggy muesli. Tropical, there's palm, banana, there is raisins, there is a lot of other stuff in there. And some seedy stuff and crunchy stuff and oaty stuff. I like these because the oats sort of balance the sweetness. There's chewy fruit in there. Which I'm not sure what it is, which is not raisins. There's raisins, there's crunchy uh, banana, which I know not everybody can eat. It's not bad, it's nice. I just hope this doesn't get too soggy while I'm reviewing. So let's do our, um, what is it, mango drink? This, you can use a cup on this, but you can also use more on it, especially if your water isn't a large part of South Africa does have naturally brackish water. I think it might be why their uh, drinks are so strong. To cover that taste. But if you are where you are not having a lot of brackish water. And you can um, thin down the stuff. You can use more than a cup in here. If you just want a slight sweet tasting water. You can do that as well. But this is not as sour as some of the other drinks. We'll do our Super C next. Because I like the Super C's. And we know Super C's. If you know South Africa stuff, you'll see them a lot. Nice and crunchy. Sugary. It's got a sugary texture if you um, bite in it. Very tart if you just suck in it the whole time. Definitely a um, fake orange, but the reason it's so nice and tart, you, it helps you quench your thirst. Now, I tried to figure out what these uh, flavor of these fruit cubes is and I read the ingredients and they've got 
every flavour, hopefully not the kitchen sink. So this is sort of a taste test thing to see if you can taste the taste of a flavour. Let's see this one. So I've tasted some, I think I had orange, I think I had a pineapple, I think I had a cherry. I think I just now had a lemon, the green ones. These are just sort of, it looks like a mix of fruit cubes. All different flavours, not a specific main brand of flavouring. That one might have been mango. It does have real fruit cube, uh, fruit pulp in it, so it gives it a funny st uh, structure. It's not bad, but it's also got a very uh, sort of not astringent, but it's got a real fruity taste. So it's also good. Um, and the only thing we've got left is our cookie. It's a big one. We've got three of these, so you can eat them for, throughout the day. As I said, we're going to have a weird lunch because I didn't want to use uh, the uh, any hot drinks with lunch. You could have done the coffee and tea if you had hot water, but presumably we might not. You still have the coffee and tea left for later if you need to. We're going to do the tea with dinner anyway, and we did the coffee with breakfast, so we don't lose out in the taste. And these taste like one of the sneaky cookies again. So what they did, I think in a whole year of rations was, they didn't use white flour or cake flour. They used a, either all brown flour or a big presentation of, of brown flour in their cookies. And they sort of dropped it after a year, a year or so. And now it's uh, just kept in some of the uh, cookies they have. The wheat is, or the fruity oaties is one of them. I think the other oaties might also be one of them. But it was really interesting while it lasted. You don't really taste the difference. You might taste a bit of the bran in here. Um, but the Ernfrauer really goes well with the, um, the oats in here. So it's a sneaky way to get you, you some more a healthier cookie. And as I said, you really don't see the difference. It's just pop you there. You of course can have your peanut butter on your cookie if you want that as well. But I'm not going to do that. So that was lunch. The muesli also works as well for lunch as for breakfast. As I said, if you don't have a lot of time and don't want to have to wait for your water to boil, you can just do this. That's why I did this for lunch. And all of the other stuff you can eat throughout the day. Fruit cubes are nice. Um, they used to have sort of flavor profiles for these. Sort of you had a citrus one and a berry one and a tropical one. Now this this one. Last year we just had tropicals. Well, the, the, yeah, these are just, it looks like a mixture of fruit because I had a, at least I think a pineapple, there was an orange in there, there was a lemon or lime in there, and they've got a whole laundry list of flavors on the packaging. So I don't know if they just package all of them the same way and then add whatever they want in there, but it's interesting because now you don't, well, you don't really, if you have a color, you, you taste it, and then you have to figure out what fruit you had. Last time it wasn't this, like that because definitely every time I got the same two or three fruit types in here. But it was nice, the fruit, the OT is nice, it's crunchy, it's a cookie. It's a bit more substantial because it got brown flour. Do you taste some bran? There's oats. But it does, do, it's a good combination and then you have the little bit of fruit in there. You can use your peanut butter on this and you've got free cookies so you can sort of save it for throughout the day. Although you can't close the bag again, you can sort of use some of these slim bags for ties and for your fruit cubes, these slim bags you get with the ration, you can just pop your fruit in there. The same with the Super C's. And that was our review and it was the... Sirek.
uh, sorry, not Serec, Ration Tech, early 2024. Um, gourmet menu number four, this is their vegetarian meals. It expires in 2025, so it's got a rather long shelf life. So, thanks for watching. Please support the channel, please subscribe, please go donate on patreon.com and see you at my next ration review.